I had a number of you people ask me, Hey Spat, how do I install Manhoro alongside Windows? A few of you even went further to say, I really don't understand how to use Gparted to safely partition the disk image. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. All right, there's a reason why I never really came out with a Manharo install video because the installer is pretty straightforward and easy for most people to use. Great for those of you who want to install Manharo as your main operating system, but I figured, yes, we do have to address the need for those of you who want to dual boot your system. Now, in today's presentation, I went ahead and pre-recorded everything you're going to be seeing in this tutorial. And I'm just going to talk you through everything that I did to set this up. So without further ado, if you look on your screen over here, you will see I have a Windows setup and I'm looking at Drive C. And you're going to see that I've got close to uh, 80 gigs of file space. And then at this point, I'm opening up the Disk Defragmenter Utility. You want to select Drive C and then click to defragment your disk. It is going to go through a four-stage process of defragmenting your drive. Now, something I want to note. Once that finishes going through the entire process, I recommend that you defragment it a second time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once that finishes, then we can go ahead and reboot the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and close that disk defragmenting utility, pressing uh, the Internet Explorer field here. You're going to see that I have the Manharo disk installed and ready to go for rebooting into the system. So pressing the Start orb and that arrow right next to shut down and then clicking restart will reboot the computer for us. Okay, now you can select the first or second choice. The first choice will uh, boot with the not with the non with the free drivers and the second choice will boot with the non-free drivers in the live CD. Once everything has loaded up here, we can get started with the process of uh, partitioning the drives. Okay, and now that we have everything loaded up, uh, we are not going to install anything just yet. I'm going to minimize this, okay, and then I'm going to type in a G GP, and that will pull up Gparted for you. Okay, and you're going to get a password prompt. The password is M-A-N-J-A-R-O. Okay, now you're going to see that we've got two partitions used up here. We're going to resize the large partition, and I'm going to give it half of the hard drive space. So half for Windows, and the other half will be for installing Manharo GNU Linux. Now, some of you may not realize this, you're only able to have four primary partitions, and we need three partitions for this Manharo install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this to be an extended partition okay and then select to add all right and you will see now we have that in here I'm gonna press new and I'm going to make this logical partition an ext4 this is where we're going to keep our boot files so I'm gonna size this down uh, to roughly a 12 gigs of 12 and a half gigs of space for this particular exercise select add on that and then I'm going to right click on that other on allocated space select new another ext4 partition I'm gonna size this down but keep in mind you want to have enough room for your swap drive so if you have have eight gigs of RAM which in this exercise I'm saying that we do I am going to use that last bit for Linux swap and then select add 
Okay, so two EXT4 partitions, pressing uh, the little arrow key and applying, it will go through the process of resizing the partitions and then it will create the root and the home partition and I'll show you how we're going to set that up using the installer here in a moment. Now this process does take some time. Once all of that's finished, then we're ready to go ahead and launch the installer. So back to the welcome screen, I'm going to click the dark blue install Manharo button, pressing forward, make sure that you select your country or territory, I'm English, United States, ensure that all three conditions are met, you have enough drive space, and then we're going to select the gear icon, and select forward, okay now! This is where it gets interesting. We're going to uh, select the check marks next to format the EXT5 and EST, EXT6, okay? And then um, we're going to change EXT5. We're going to change that mount point to the forward slash or root, and then press OK. And then EXT, uh, the SDA6 drive, we're going to change that to your home partition. We're going to keep that separate. Great for those of you who might want to back that up at a later time. And you know, I decided to uncheck the swap here because Gpart had already formatted it as a swap drive, so it's not necessary to do that again. So once you have those changes in place, okay, then you can go ahead and uh, press install now. Uh, the check mark in the box there saying use this device for, device for bootloader installation will install that to the first and the very first partition where Windows is. So go ahead and just double check, make sure your mount points are correct, press OK and then select your time zone. And this portion is just the same as any other standard installer. I'm in New York, so I'm selecting that. Okay, you're going to select your keyboard layout. I'm in the USA with a USA keyboard layout. You're gonna type in your name. You're gonna type in your computer's name. You're gonna pick a username. You're gonna choose a secure password preferably more than three <laughs> characters. You can select to log in automatically or require your password. Okay, and then at this point, the slideshow is going to progress a little bit slower than what you're seeing on the screen here, and it's going to tell you how Manharo GNU Linux is going to change your life. All I can tell you is I really love what uh, Manharo Linux brings to the table for me. And as I indicated in my pre previous video, there is now an updated Broadcom driver, and I have just been told that it is upstream now. So it came a lot sooner. Uh, so thanks to Phil Mueller who sent that to me. I had an opportunity to test it. Okay, now, once the installation's done, you're gonna reboot, but select Windows. And when you see this prompt on the screen here, that it's checking the file system, this is normal and you must let this complete all the way. And then it's gonna bring you back to Grub. You're gonna select to boot into Windows 7 again. In this case, I use Windows 7. Okay, you're gonna log in and then just check and make sure the operating system is functioning properly. In my case, I decided to play a little bit of Minesweeper and of course, I lost. I don't always win the game. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, check into my documents and that sort of thing. And you're going to see that when you go into Drive C, or uh, in my computer, I should say, all right, you're going to see your hard drive is smaller, so now we only have a 41 gig hard drive for running Windows. But when you do go into computer, you're going to only see that it has Drive C and a Drive D. You cannot see your Linux partitions. Unfortunately, Windows doesn't play nicely with Linux. So we're going to go ahead and restart the computer now, and then we are able to select Manharo Linux from uh, the grub loader as you see right here. And once all of that finishes loading, then you're off to the races. You're ready to have a lot of fun with this and uh, start following some of the tutorials that I put online. Okay, you're greeted with a beautiful uh, login screen. Okay, and uh, also they have a nice animated cloud, cloud one that you can select as well, which is really cool. So uh, it's looking pretty good here. Let's open up that home directory. Uh, resize that a little bit, I think. Okay, so that you can see things a little bit better. All right, and then uh, I'm going to show you here 
you have the 41 gig hard drive this is your windows file so great for those of you who may want to do virus scans on your windows partition and do that from within linux how cool is that okay and then of course you have access to your home directory here and all the rest of your system files so linux does play nicely with windows well, I hope this answers you guys' questions and uh, gets you to where you can at least dual boot. Now, I tried to do a tutorial on removing Windows safely, but for some reason, uh, I kept running into some bottlenecks with that. So maybe at a later time, I will uh, possibly cover a video for those of you who... Uh, want to safely remove Windows and dedicate your hard drive to Linux. But ha having a separate home partition gives you a number of advantages. Personally, if I were dual booting uh, between uh, Manhoro and Windows, what I would do is I would back up my home partition to an external hard drive and save that somewhere. And then I would just go and reformat the hard drive, reinstall the latest Manhoro, restore that home directory and then just install the applications that I need because I have a list of all the applications that I run and use regularly and then it'll be as though I had never you know uh, removed uh, Manhoro in the first place and you know so that would be an ideal scenario in this case but that 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 is the thing about Windows that I really don't like a lot of computers out there especially if you go out and bought you bought a new computer with Windows 7 a lot of OEMs out there are shipping these computers with four primary partitions used up already in which case then it, to follow this tutorial you're gonna actually have to back up some of those partitions resize the main Windows partition so that you can do something uh, as shown uh, in today's presentation. So these are little considerations you're going to need to make. A good utility for backing up those partitions is Clonezilla. Maybe one day I might do a tutorial on it, but it's not on my immediate roadmap right now. Well, that's all I have on this. Uh, please consider supporting the show hosts that are bringing you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting them some coins. Also, be sure to check out www.cupoflinux.com. We've got all kinds of great content on there for you guys as well. You can uh, sign up for the forum. I have removed reCAPTCHA, so it'll be easy for you to log in. Just look at the graphic at the bottom of the screen and answer a question about it. And uh, you'll be able to get in easily, but it'll keep all the bots and all the spam out of there. And also, be sure to come in and say hi to me on IRC. I'm usually in there uh, quite often, so uh, I, I can't obviously be there 24-7 around the clock but you can come in at different times of the day, and odds are you'll probably run into me there. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.